In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. As we gather this morning to celebrate the dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major, we take a moment to call to mind our sin and ask for mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, and through the most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, and her virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray and lead to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we, who cannot please you by our own deeds, may be saved through the intercession of the Mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The whole congregation of the children of Israel arrived in the desert of Zin in the first month, and the people settled at Kadesh. It was here that Miriam died, and here that she was buried. As the community had no water, they held a council against Moses and Aaron. The people contended with Moses, exclaiming, Would that we too had perished with our kinsmen in the Lord's presence. Why have you brought the Lord's assembly into this desert where we and our livestock are dying? Why did you lead us out of Egypt only to bring us to this wretched place which has neither grain, nor figs, nor vines, nor pomegranates. Here there is not even water to drink. But Moses and Aaron went away from the assembly to the entrance of the meeting tent, where they fell prostrate. Then the glory of the Lord appeared to them, and the Lord said to Moses, Take your staff and assemble the community, you and your brother Aaron, and in their presence order the rock to yield its waters. From the rock you shall bring forth water for the congregation and their livestock to drink. So Moses took his staff from its place before the Lord as he was ordered. He and Aaron assembled the community in front of the rock where he said to them, listen to me, you rebels. Are we to bring water for you out of this rock? Then raising his hand, Moses struck the rock twice with his staff, and water gushed out in abundance for the people and their livestock to drink. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you were not faithful to me in showing forth my sanctity before the children of Israel, you shall not lead this community into the land I will give them. These are the waters of Meribah, where the children of Israel contended against the Lord, where the Lord revealed his sanctity among them. The word of the Lord. Be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tested me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. So today we hear the infamous story of Peter. He really he rises to the occasion. He does a great job. You are the Son of God. Um, you are the Christ, the Son of God. And he really does a great job. And then, of course, Peter inevitably sticks his foot in his mouth like he normally does and tells Jesus he can't go to Jerusalem even though he knows very well that that is exactly where Jesus needs to go and that's what needs to happen. And so Peter has been referred to as the rock of the church for many, for centuries, obviously, and for since the beginning, and is the rock on which the church is built. <clears throat> and each of us, I guess, in so many ways are a part of that rock. I remember, anybody remember the, I guess I've been watching too much YouTube from the 70s and the 60s, but anybody remember the old Prudential commercials? It was a picture of the rock of Gibraltar, and it said, get a piece of the rock, Remember that? Yeah, I don't know why, but anyway. So, but I think that that's kind of what we are in many respects. So we are the rock that continues to exist in the world. So the prayer shawl ministry that does a lot of wonderful work in our church and uh, creates prayer shawls for people, they're a piece of the rock. Um, the moms and the dads who help their kids learn about uh, Jesus through religious education. They're a piece of the rock. The, um, the people who take communion to the sick, people who give communion here in the church, lectors, um, our kids who do uh, community service, they're a piece of the rock. 
And I think that's the challenge. Peter is the rock on which the church is built, but Peter resides in heaven. The carrying on of the church ministry, the carrying on of the message is left to us. And only through the power of God is that possible. So I'm not sure how you can be a piece of the rock today, but like that old adage goes, you know, each of us has, not the old adage, but that commercial says, you know, get a piece of the rock. If you're not getting one yet, make sure you grab a piece today and find a way to be a part of the rock, the rock that is Peter, the rock on which the church is built. Please stand. Longing for peace, we bring our concerns before God together with one voice. For the Holy Church and its mission to build God's kingdom on earth, may Christ's glory shine in her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all of those who hold elected office, may they be led by the gospel in their development of policies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all of those who hunger or thirst, may God satisfy their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of us called to witness to Christ's glory, may God increase our understanding to do his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died, and today we remember especially Pat Grogan, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And finally, for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, you sent your only Son to bring us redemption. Hear our prayers that we place before you, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request may be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, O Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. To praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful and praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid. You gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who were nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance of the elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph Spouse, with your blessed Apostle and glorious martyrs, Saint Peter and Paul, Saint Michael, and with all the saints, on whose consent and decision in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray you, Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all for the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, and William our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your love. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have smart before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life, give hand admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you here. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Glory and honor and glory to you to answer the Lord and the Lord. But only say the word of our soul. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.